Hi there, beautiful soul. I'm so excited for you to dive into this recording and experience a confidence booster. This is a recording from a group session where we went deep into clearing limiting beliefs that prevent us from feeling fully confident. We're all programmed with many, many years of limiting beliefs that say that we're not worthy enough, we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, all of that not stuff that is not true. And uh, all of these beliefs prevent us from really tapping into and embodying true confidence. We're also filled with lies about what true confidence really is. So in this session, we also clear all the illusions about what confidence really is. Uh, that it's like an ego boosting state, that it's superior and it's arrogant and all of that nonsense too. So we want you to really surrender into a true, authentic, genuine, relaxed, embodied state of true confidence. And when you tap into true confidence, things in your life just flow much more effortlessly. So I invite you to find a comfortable spot. There is a guided meditation in the beginning that will take you into a theta brainwave state. This is in order to access your subconscious and be able to clear and let go of all the limiting beliefs that prevent you from tapping into true confidence. So really honor this time and space for yourself. Find a nice comfortable position. You can sit or lay down and allow yourself to go really, really, really deep. Really honor this time for yourself. You will most likely experience uh, some big shifts. <laughs> you may experience some energetical shifts in your body. Emotions may come up. Whatever comes up for you is totally natural and normal. And even if you don't feel or sense anything, that's totally fine as well. The work will be done automatically and with your permission. So sit back, enjoy, and allow yourself to be lifted up into higher realms of existence and true confidence. Any adjustments you need to make are totally fine. So you can get nice and comfortable. Wonderful. And when you're breathing, you're breathing nice and deep into the lowest part of your stomach. It's really slow and nice and slow on your exhale. And on each exhale, you notice that you let go of more and more and more attention. And as you're breathing, you're noticing that you're slowly dropping more and more into a meditative state. Becoming aware of sounds that are around and about. Becoming aware of the silence in the background that holds the space for these sounds. Nice. And I want you to start to gently open your crown chakra. And begin to allow sun energy to stream in through your crown chakra. Pouring down your face, down the back of your head, the sides of your head, down your brain. Relaxing all muscles and even bones as this sun energy streams down into your body, into your neck, into your chest, down into your arms, down the back, into your heart, down into your stomach. in and between and around all of your organs. And on each inhale, you're breathing in more and more of this sun energy coming into your hips, down into your thighs, into your knees, 
down into your calves, into your feet, and out through the bottoms of your feet. Nice. So relaxing deeper and deeper, allowing this energy to just stream through you and down towards the core of the planet. So traveling through all the layers of the planet. Allowing this energy to connect with the core of the planet and bounce back up towards your body. And bringing with it this nurturing, grounding earth energy, this mother Gaia energy, as it's coming back up towards your body and in through the bottoms of your feet. Traveling up into your calves, into your knees, into your thighs. Nice. Allowing this energy to give your permission to drop even deeper, coming into your hips and up through your spine. So opening your root. Nice, coming up into your sacral. Opening your sacral, coming up into your solar, opening your solar. Nice, releasing any tension in your stomach. Allowing this energy to come up into your chest and into your heart. Opening and expanding your heart field. Nice. Coming up into your throat, opening your throat. And coming up into your third eye, opening your third eye. And now allowing this energy to come up out through your crown chakra. And as this energy streams up, imagine yourself sitting in a small bubble of light and you're traveling with this energy up towards the clouds. So just coming up, passing the roof, seeing your house from further and further away. Nice. Going closer and closer to the clouds. Seeing the country from far away. Passing the clouds. And now traveling into the universe. So starting to see Mother Earth from further and further away. And now floating around in the universe, seeing other stars and other planets and just taking a moment to enjoy this timeless space. Nice, and now begin to imagine and see the portal of light in the far distance. This golden portal of light calling you to come closer. And as you come closer and closer to this portal of light, it grows larger and larger. Really good. And as you come closer, beginning to come right up in front of it. And it's just a little bit larger than your body. And you're preparing yourself to enter this portal of light. So on your next exhale, you can allow yourself to enter this portal of light. Nice. So now you're entering a tunnel of light which is taking you towards an even brighter white light at the end of the tunnel. So you're traveling fast through all dimensions, all time and space, all realities towards this bright white light at the end of a tunnel. So this is source, this is creator, this is unconditional love, calling you closer and closer and closer.
Nice. So now you're coming closer and closer to this bright white light and you're preparing yourself to fully merge with this white light. So on your next exhale, you can allow yourself to just let go and fully merge with this bright white light. Nice. So let go of your bubble of light and allowing this white light to fully merge with all the cells in your entire body. Fully merging with unconditional love, with source light. really good okay so now you can just enjoy hanging out in this space and we're gonna start with the clearing wonderful so we're gonna go and dive straight deep into the heavy stuff so we're gonna clear all the heavy stuff first so just breathe let go and energies that come up for you just allow them to pass so we're going to start on the personal level at first. So create of all that is, it is commanded that all of these beliefs are pulled, clear, dissolved, sent into the light to be transformed into light across all time and space, all realities and all dimensions. So on a personal level, on any level, I hate myself. Command this to be sent into the light. Yes. Any thought forms around hate, any thought forms around I should hate myself, I must hate myself, other people hate me, so I should hate myself, just letting all of that go and sending it into the light, yes. And there's uh, <laughs> clinging thought forms that, that is also associated with this thought form that says, but I don't hate, hate myself, but that's the hate belief in, it, in and of itself, trying to hold on to itself, so also just giving forgiveness to that and letting that go and sending that into the light yes nice and also clearing on any level i am disgusting any thought forms associated with being disgusting and disgust uh, any time and any moment where you have caught yourself looking at yourself and catching yourself with the thought form that i'm disgusting any times where you have felt not even you haven't heard the word but you're just sitting in the energy you just feel the feeling of feeling disgusting uh, so the energy of disgust letting that go and setting that into the light yes any time where um you've caught the eyes of someone else and you've telepathically felt that they've thought that you're disgusting clearing any and all installation moments from those moments and sending that into the light yes any times where you felt shame because you felt like you were disgusting, letting that go and sending that into the light. Yes, nice, really good. Okay, uh, on any level, I'm unworthy. So unworthy of anything that's good for you. So on any level, I'm unworthy of confidence. I'm unworthy of feeling really good in myself. I'm unworthy of feeling strong. I'm unworthy, I don't deserve to be powerful. Just letting all of that go and letting that into the light, yes. Any thought forms, any beliefs that say, I don't deserve to be alive, I might as well give up, uh, I'm not powerful, I don't have what it takes, just letting all of that go and sending that into the light as well, nice. Really good, so now also going into on any level, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, and I have nothing to offer, letting all of that go and letting that into the light, yes. Anything that has to do with your level of intelligence, with your IQ level, with how you speak, with how you portray yourself to others, and any time. So also clearing shock and trauma from any time where you felt uh, inferior in any social setting, in any setting at all, in this lifetime, all lifetimes, any installation moments that have happened because of that, just clearing all of that and sending that into the light, yes. Nice, okay, so anything that has to do with your voice, so anything where you feel any moment where you've had a thought form, like my voice is weird, my voice is strange, my voice is not sexy, my voice is not pretty, my voice is not whatever, or my voice is ugly or not nice to listen to, just letting all of that go and letting that into the light as well, nice. Anything that has to do with your face and your body. So my face is weird. My face is misshaped. Uh, I have weird teeth. My nose is weird. My eyes are weird. Uh, I don't have the right hair. My, I'm ugly. My body is ugly. Uh, my skin is ugly. I'm unattractive. Uh, anything that has to do with your appearance, just letting all of that go and letting that into the light. Nice. 
any time where you ever catch anyone eyes where you felt like they were negatively judging your appearances just letting all of that go and letting that into light sending all of that energy back to them so setting all of that insecurity the projection from them sending all of that back to them just letting all sending all of that back to them that's theirs to deal with it's not yours so just letting all of that go good and on any level no one will ever love me for who i am so anytime you've tried to be something that you're not or try to be who you who you're like something else than what you really are <laughs> anytime where you've been inauthentic or you haven't been uh, genuine or you've been sort of putting on a facade and not being really who you really really are at the core uh, because you feel like you can't be loved for who you really are just giving forgiveness and compassion for all of those moments and sending all of the need to do that ever into the light and also just clearing so that's a, a huge collective pressure that we're going to go into a bit later so we're doing personal now but that's also associated with collective but any time where your family or your friends or your close ones kind of um, judged you so you felt like you had to be a little bit different than who you really want to be, just sending all of that into the light and letting that go, yes. Really good, okay. And on any level, I'm ashamed for who I really am. I'm awkward, I don't matter, I might as well die. Sending all of that into the light, yes. So any and all times where you felt like giving up, where you felt like there's no point, I might as well just give up. So sending a huge, massive bomb of love to any of all of those moments. All of your spirit guides, all benevolent beings that have held you in those moments. They've cried with you, they've cried for you, they have felt the power for your perseverance and asking you to just let go all of those thought forms go. So there's full understanding that you had them and that they were there and the pain that was experienced but anything that has to do with suicidal thoughts or that you don't matter or you might as well give up or you might as well die just let all that go and sending that into the light yes good and letting go and sending into the light i'm weak uh, i'm irrelevant uh, i don't matter just sending that go and sending that into the light nice so take some nice deep breaths here good and uh, going into uh, hardship around um, confidence around attracting what you need. So it's hard for me to attract the clients that I need. It's hard for me. I don't have the confidence of what it takes to build my business. I don't have the confidence of what it takes for people to feel magnetized towards me. I don't have the confidence to put myself out there. Putting myself out there is hard. Putting myself out there is risky. If I put myself out there and I show who I really am, I'm going to be ridiculed. I'm going to be mocked. I'm just going to waste all of this energy and it's not going to be worth it. Just letting all of that go and sending that also into the light. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, really good. So we've done the personal. Now we're going to go into the collective. So just keep relaxing and breathing and accept the release of all of this that we don't need anymore. So none of this is yours. It's all this stuff that we picked up uh, along the way. So going into collective. So on any level, women or men need to shut up and be quiet. So anytime you feel like you've been suppressed, every time you felt like you were silenced anytime you felt like you had to like your throat chakra was closed anytime you felt like oh i need to make myself invisible anytime we felt like i need to just sit in the corner and not say anything just letting all of that go and any conditioning from these experiences into the light yes any resentment that we've built because of these experiences also letting that go and letting that into the light as well yes knowing that forgiveness is your greatest power and it would only help and serve you to reach higher levels of existence so just tapping into that and anyone and everyone who's ever told you to shut up or be quiet or not voice your opinion just knowing that they're in a lot of pain so the pain that they're in that resulted in them doing that that's theirs that's not yours it's not a reflection of you so just sending all of that back to them really good any parents friends relatives any and everyone and everyone anyone who've ever projected that onto you or silenced you in any way, just sending all of that back to them. That's for them to deal with. Good. Nice. Okay, a bit more in collective. So on any level, I have to obey the rules of society, the ones that don't serve us, 
on any level I have to conform to limiting rules, society rules, to oppressive orders, just letting all of that go and letting that into the light. So these are all just lies. We don't have to conform to anything that we don't feel is in the highest alignment for us. So just letting that go and sending that into the light. Nice. And again, anywhere and anytime we felt like you had to be silenced, that you have no voice, that your voice doesn't matter, that you're invisible. On any level, I can't share my opinion, thoughts or feelings. And on any level, my opinions, thoughts and feelings are invalid, that they don't matter. So the thought, your thoughts and your feelings and your opinions and any level where you feel like they don't matter, just sending that go, sending it into the light. Good. Really good. Okay, so there's a lot of repression from from society and structure and government and TV and just decades of lots of gunk and shit from that. So just letting all of that go and detaching all of that and letting go of those templates. They're old. It's old stuff. We don't adhere to that anymore. Just letting that go and sending that into the light. Nice. Really good. Okay. Take taking some <laughs> nice deep breaths. Going into the heavy stuff here. So now we're going into the ancestral. So on any level, I'm a slave. On any level, I deserve to be punished. Or on any level, I need to be burned on a stake like the witch. So sending that into the light, clearing all karmic cycles. So any genetic imprint you have in your body from a lifetime where you, you were gifted, uh, you had a very strong intuition, you knew things before other knew it, you were able to manifest things out of thin air, you had like transcendental experiences and people found out and they didn't like it, they felt threatened and they wanted to kill you or hurt you or put you away because of this. Any genetic imprint due to that, just letting that go and sending that into the light, yes. So keeping the codes of spiritual gifts, keeping the codes of um transcendental states keeping the codes of intuition and knowing but letting go of the genetic imprint and the templates of punishment because of them so letting that go and sending it into the light yes so letting letting it all go that you need to be killed for your gifts and your spiritual gifts you need to be killed because you're a woman or a man you need to be killed because you have knowledge insights and power so in any lifetime even this one where people felt threatened by you because you had an inner power, you had an inner knowing, you had an intuition, and that was threatening and, and triggering for anyone. So for any one of you who were Nikola Tesla in a past life where you were where you were threatened and you got your shit burned down, uh, or any lifetime where you just had access to a higher knowledge and you had to suffer extreme consequences for that, just letting all of that go and sending that into the light, yes. Good good and on any level you need to be punished for who you are you need to be put into jail tortured or killed for who you are just any imprint of fear of worry or concern about just showing up as who you are just letting all of that go and sending that into the light yes so we're removing the deepest deepest core primal fears because they're the root ones so any and all thought forms that stem from these that are the fluffy ones on top they also all get pulled in association with these so it's really good nice so that was the ancestral that was the deep clearing so we've cleared a lot and when we clear a lot um we actually don't have to fill in so much but we're still going to fill in because it's always good to bump you guys up uh, because at the core of your being you're pure light your source source so a source doesn't need to be filled in uh, but it's always fun and we came here to play and have a good time. So <laughs> we're going to fill in lots of good stuff that's going to help you. So now we get ready for the filling in. So we clear the heavy stuff. You've done really good. So get ready to fill in with more light and love and, and juiciness. So you can take a few nice deep breaths before we start to fill in. Really good. Okay, so we're going to start on a personal level. So now just enjoy saying yes and yes and yes to all of these installations and installments that you wish to receive. So creative all that is, it is commanded that all of those old beliefs are replaced with these new positive supportive beliefs. Yes. So on a personal level, we're going to start with on all levels, I love myself. Yes. And on all levels, I'm worthy of love, abundance, community, fun and play. Yes. 
And I'm also going to, in this installation, I'm also going to clear up the definitions of certain concepts because sometimes when we think of confidence or even love, we have certain associations that aren't fully true. So I'm going to also clean these up for you uh, and just make sure that your definition of these concepts are the same as the creator or, uh, or source. So uh, on all, and you just have to say yes. You don't have to think about, oh, do I know what this feels like in my body? You just say yes and it will happen automatically. So on all levels, I know the creator's and source definition of love and mine is the same, yes. So we're just cleaning up what love really means. Good. So when we say on all levels, I love myself, it's the true version of love, yes, good. And on all levels, I am confident. Yes. Okay. So any resistance towards receiving or feeling, if you've ever said to yourself, I'm confident, but you feel like this inner resistance to it. So any and all thought forms or resistances or inner co contraction that you feel towards actually embodying confidence, just letting that go and sending that into the light. Yes. So when I do these installations, sometimes there's these little, little resistances that come up and as they come up, I just clear those as well. And then we're just cleaning up also the definition of confidence because there's a lot of association and collective junk around what confidence really is. So just allow yourself to know that on all levels, uh, you know, sources definition of confidence and yours is the same. Yes. So now we have Really good. I can feel you really <laughs> letting that one in. Really good. So we are cleaning up the definition of confidence so that the, the true the true essence of confidence, which is clear of confusion. So a lot of people have associations with confidence that it means that you're loud, that you're aggressive, that you have a really big ego, uh, that it needs to look a certain way, or that you're always, you know, talkative or you're a center of attention, or there's all of this nonsense around confidence and what it is so we're just letting any and all non-truths around confidence go and into the light yes so on all levels it's fully safe possible and permitted for me to feel true confidence yes a confidence that is centered humble enjoyable balanced and feminine and masculine balanced overall it's compassionate it's considerate it's kind it's wise and um, it's it's ascended uh, it, it feels good, it's a, it's a resting feeling, it's a non-trying feeling, it's an inherent feeling, yes, it's all, yeah, really good. It's just something you relax into. Great, really good. So on all levels, my voice matters, yes. And on all level, on all levels, I am beautiful, yes. So any inner little resistance to receiving that, any resistance to receiving that you're beautiful and that you that can that you can feel beautiful no matter what you know all the time of the day or how much you've slept or if you have makeup on or makeup off just you're beautiful full stop really good so clearing any and all resistance to receiving that and sending that into the light yes oh nice really good and clearing up the definition so on all levels i know sources definition of beauty and mine is the same yes really good and on all levels i am powerful yes good <laughs> that's a nice one <laughs> so you you all have a pretty nice you all really tapped into the feeling of power before and a very clear feeling of power and a very pure feeling of power so we don't actually need to clear up that so much for you guys uh, but just in case we're just going to clean it up the definition of power and that on all levels you know, sources, definition of power, and yours is the same. Yes. Really good. So sources, power, oh, power is source. Source is power. Power is source. Source is energy. It's truth. It's alignment. So any and all confusion around what power is, uh, so letting go of everything that it's not. So power is not force. Power is not trying. Power is not effort. Power is an inherent source energy. Yes. Good. So now we have the clear definition of power and install that you're powerful. And we're also going to install now that on all, level, on all levels, my voice is powerful. Yeah. So anywhere you feel that in your throat. Oh, let me burp. Okay. So if you feel any release there in your throat, just let that go. Really good. 
um, and knowing that your voice is a vessel for source so source can speak through you through your voice so the more open your voice is the more open your throat is the more you can allow yourself to relax into your throat and into your expression the more you are a service of source and to source um because you allow the codes of source to flow through your throat really good ah yeah <laughs> so already feeling that relax in your throat so on all levels your voice is powerful yes really good and on all levels my body is powerful yeah so any and all resistance to allowing your body to res uh, receive that just letting that go and any and all thought forms that say yeah but this and yeah but that and yeah but blah 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 and yeah but dna damage and yeah but disease and yeah but yeah but yeah but just letting all of that go and letting that into the light yes uh, and also any uh, any times where, where you felt like resentful towards your body or disappointed or like oh your body let you down just let that go and send that into the light yes really good so just knowing that your body has an in inherent uh, intelligence uh, that it's always taking care of you even when your body is tired it is taking care of you it's telling you all the signals that you need to know at all times so on all levels i can trust the inherent source energy in my body yes good doing really good guys okay so on all levels i deserve a place in my community in my family in my society yes okay so now coming into more um of uh, like a soul service or soul mission soul purpose so purposes, many purposes we have here. So on all levels, I came to this planet for many reasons. And it's my birthright to experience all of my soul's wishes fully, boldly and enjoyably. Yes. Nice. Okay. And on all levels, I know that I'm source energy. Yes. Yes. So in any and all confusion around that, like, oh, I don't know what that feels like. I don't know what source energy feels like. What is this source energy thing? Just sending all of that into the light. Yes. So anywhere where the mind wants to know, just letting that go and sending that into the light. Yes. Good. And on all levels, I am connected to source and I'm an extension of source. Yes. Good. And on all levels, I am divinely guided. Yes. So here, any resistance that, that, that comes up, um, anywhere where there's hurt and there's pain and where the mind has said, no, I'm not guided. I've been pushed into all these experiences that I don't want to have. And no, I'm not guided because this and this and that. And no, I'm not guided because God must be, you know, horrible if he's creating all of these experiences. Just letting all of that go as well and sending that into the light. Yes. Good. So just uh, sending a little bit of forgiveness and compassion to, to God and to source. <laughs> really good. So even in the moments where I feel lost, confused, and I don't know what to do, I, on all levels, I'm still guided. So any resistance that you have there, just letting all of that go as well. So you're allowing yourself to be a, children of, a, a child of God. And if that feels religious to you, just a child of source, a child of, of creator, a child of the, uh, the essence of existence just the fact that you exist <laughs> you were birthed into this existence so just the, the fact that you are uh, is proof of that so just allowing that to be nice really good okay good okay so on all levels i know how to express myself wonderful so even when you don't when you feel confused or if you feel uncertain then you still know how to express yourself and express express your truth, yes. Really good. So on all levels, it's easy and effortless for me to express myself, yes. Yes. And on all levels, I know how to take care of myself. Yes. So any thought forms that pop up there that I was like, no, or I, I was, should do it better, or, I, or I'm horrible at taking care of myself, just letting all of that go and sending that into the light, yes. Good. So big chunks of doubt there. Just let that go. Good. Okay. 
okay, a little bit more. <laughs> so anywhere, anywhere, whenever in your life where you judged yourself for your decisions, where you judged yourself because you should have, you should have made better investments. You should have not spent money in that way. You should have moved to that or this country. You should have been with this or this that person. Anytime where you judge yourself because of the decisions that you made, just let all of that go and send that into the light. Yes, really good. Yes, lots of self-compassion and self-forgiveness there. You've always made the right decision. Really good. Oh, nice. Okay. So just to keep allowing that to, to sink in deeper. It's going to do that in the background for you. So on all levels, I know how to make decisions for myself. Yes. On all levels, I am my own guide. Yes. On all levels, I am my own power. Yes. Good. And on all levels, I'm responsible for my life. Yes. So here, clearing any negativity around being responsible for our own uh, lives. <laughs> Not knives. <laughs> lives. <laughs> so any gunk, any victimhood, anywhere you felt like you failed at being responsible, any heaviness around. So the, world, uh, the wor word responsibility feels heavy. So we're just going to clear responsibility from any and all heaviness. Yes. That's also very collective that, you know, being you have to be responsible for time, responsible for kids, responsible for other people, for money. It's like this heaviness. So just letting all of that go and sending that into the light. Yes. So clearing the definition of responsibility, any and all uh, negativity and heaviness around it, just sending all of that into the light. Anything, any illusion of what responsibility is, clearing that up and sending it into the light. Yes. Good, nice. So on all levels, I know how to be uh, responsible for my life with ease, grace, flow, fun, play, and easiness. That resp being responsible for our own lives is inherent in us and that is easy and playful and fun and easygoing. And it's not difficult. It's not difficult at all. You do it all the time. <laughs> You're all great at being responsible. <laughs> so just allowing yourself to tap into that. Yes, really good. Okay. And on all levels, it's easy and effortless for me to show up in the world. Yes. On all levels, it's easy and effortless for me to speak my truth. Yes. On all levels, it's easy and effortless for me to be me. Yes, really good. We're approaching the end, guys. So you're doing really, really well. On all levels, it's easy for me to get new clients and to get prospects and to get business proposals and to get anything that uh, breathes li breathes light into your business. Yes, and abundance. Yes. So any doubt and fear around that, just clearing that and sending that into the light. Yes. Good. On and on all levels, it's easy and effortless for me to attract all the people that I need in my life. Yes. Yeah any resistance there where you feel like no i haven't done that yet or why is my partner not here or well this and this business partner could have been here or any like coulda shoulda woulda just knowing that there is a higher force protecting you and letting that go and sending it into the light anywhere you feel like that hasn't taken place anywhere you feel like your life isn't exactly how it should be just sending that into the light yes really good okay so we're gonna do a few on the collective. So just take a few nice deep breaths. We're doing a lot of feeling in here, so it's really good. So on all levels, uh, I fit into society and the kind of society that I am creating for the future. Yes. Good. So you all you all are uh, a part of the awakened collective. So your souls you ha are on a mission. Uh, on one way or another, and it's connected to the, the futures that we want to build and the futures that we want to see. So on all levels, you fit into that. So that why that's why you feel like a bit of a misfit. That's why you feel like you're, you know, not the quote unquote normal in this, the old paradigms. And there's a reason for that. So on all levels, you fit into the society that you're creating for the future. Yes. Good. On all levels, I am free from oppression, from hierarchy, from dictatorship. Yes. On all levels, I am free, yes. And on all levels, I have free speech, yes. 
Really good. Okay. And on all levels, I leave codes, templates, vibrations all around me on a daily basis that leave a powerful positive imprint in the collective. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, your soul knows this <laughs> on a soul level. Every day I change the world positively without effort and with ease, grace and flow. Yes. Yes. So your body feels this as truth because it's true. So simply by being source energy and existing, I am making a contribution to the betterhood of all. And it this is inherent in my existence. Yes. So some of you had a, a little bit of resistance to that one. So any and all resistance to that, uh, any thought form that says, but I'm dark, but I'm heavy, but I carry heaviness, just allowing all of that to go into the light. So not necessarily the energy, um, but just allowing yourself to feel loved, to know that source knows you and watches you all the time, even your heaviness, even your darkness, even all the thoughts that you judge as as mean or shitty or anything like that. Uh, it's all loved. The, it's impossible for source not to love every single aspect of you. So letting go of any and all of that and sending it into the light, yes. Really good. So on all levels, I deserve to be loved by myself, source, and all that is. Yes. Amazing. Okay, really good. Last part, you guys. We're going into the ancestral. So any imprints we have here. Um, we're going to keep the ones that we want to keep. And we're going to say bye-bye to the ones that we don't need anymore. So... On all levels, I am free from karmic imprints of slavery, suffering, and obeying to hierarchy. Yes. Good. So we're going to call in the support of your ancestors and your spirit guides and all of your angels. So you're all born with an angel um, that's like appointed to you, who's always been there for you and with you ever since the day you popped out of the womb. Um, and he and she, <laughs> some of you have a he and some of you have a she, is there with you, uh, putting your hand on your shoulder and saying, yep, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> so you can feel the presence of that and we're going to call in the presence of all of your support teams um, and activate this genetic memory in you. So on all levels, I have the support of my ancestors. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. On all levels, I have the support and guidance from my spirit guides, from off-planet beings, from on-planet beings. There's a lot of beings on the planet as well you have support from, from the fairy realm, from the ascended masters, and all benevolent beings who support me on my life journey. Yes. Really good. You're getting a lot of a lot of happy, happy smiles <laughs> behind the veil. <laughs> okay, wonderful almost getting there so throughout all the time and space source energy has split itself into endless points of view to experience itself and i am a part of source wishing to experience itself as me or else i would not be yes yes really good you feel that as truth in your body so on all levels i am source yes and on all levels i am love Yes. Oh, any, re <laughs> any resistance to that? Any resistance to I'm love? Any resistance to... Um, so any... Okay, I'm just going to do a little clearing there for you guys. So any any and all times and any lifetime and any and all dimensions where you felt like you're not love, where you felt like you don't deserve to be love, where you felt like you were the complete opposite of love, where you felt like you didn't deserve love, where you felt like there's no way I can be source energy now because I'm so full of hate and anger and negativity just oh yeah just give yourself a big dose of self-forgiveness there and let all of that go and send that into the light yes so remember that source never hates you source never judges you always loves all of the, that which you are and any and all energies that you experience are just energies so it's fully you know you have full permission to explore and go into any and all energies even the ones that are labeled as dark or heavy because it's 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 you it's your source energy you're exploring your your transforming transforming your it's not inherently bad um but you get to experience if you like it or not <laughs> so just give yourself a big dose of self-forgiveness whenever you felt shame 
and uh, whenever you judge yourself negatively for experiencing what we call negative energies in this in this lifetime and all lifetimes yes nice okay really good really good okay so on all levels i deserve to be loved by myself source and all that is yes really good on all levels this world is for me it's for me to play explore have fun and give an imprint of myself onto so it's like you uh, by existing simply by being you leave ripple effects all the time all around you uh, and you want to do that you wanted to do that you wanted to come down here and leave like stamps all over the place so on all levels this is my birthright on all levels i can leave my my footprints i can leave my heritage i can leave my codes i can leave uh, and it doesn't have to be like oh some big book has to be written about you it's that your signature is all the way all always being imprinted into existence yes so just awakening that really good so on all levels i am source yes on all levels i am love nice much easier to receive that one now and on all levels i am yes really good so we completed and i'm just gonna wrap up and complete the healing and seal it up so on all levels we're sending this healing seven generations back and seven generations forward to any and all who wish to receive this healing marking all oath vows promises and karmic cycles as complete and marking this healing as being done in the safest easiest way possible for the greater good of all of you and for all that is thank you it is done it is done it is done and so it is so you can breathe now into your heart connect with the light again allow yourself to be showered by unconditional love and there's no coming back process so you can just stay connected to the light and allow yourself to gently come back take all the time you need wiggle toes and arms and feet and open your eyes when you feel ready so as you're doing that i'll just give you some um, final wrapping up tips so we cleared a lot so if you have time to jump in the shower it's a really good time to have a shower and just shower off all the debris from everything that we cleared um and drink plenty of water and the work is done that was the confidence boosting session i hope you enjoyed all you need to do now is relax let the changes take place automatically get plenty of sleep there's new neuro neurological patterns that will take place automatically for you so you may notice that you will just simply start to feel different think different feel more confident more relaxed in yourself and it's all happening by default for you this is the power of working with the subconscious as soon as you go and change the wiring the whole machinery works differently so think of it as giving yourself a tune-up an upgrade an activation and now you can just enjoy allow the the universe and your reality to reflect back to you your new wonderful internal changes and if you want to go deeper deeper into your own blockages into your own experiences if there's further beliefs that you feel are preventing you from being who you really wish to be then don't hesitate booking a taster session booking a program just getting more information i'm here to help you i'm here to serve you so don't be shy send me a message i'm happy to support you in any way that i can so if you want to go deeper i am here for you and there's also plenty other free resources on my website for you to enjoy so until next time sending you lots of love